Jonathan, it feels like it was just yesterday that we talked to you last, but it's actually been a few weeks. Uh, things are a little bit different now. Just how how do you feel about uh, your whole defense and how you guys have performed above expectations so far? Well, I feel great about our defense. Um, we're doing everything that uh, we're coached to do, and it's it's showing a little. Bit, it's showing a lot, so I feel very confident in us. Bob. And, and Jonathan, you guys obviously, you know, did a great job in Mississippi State breaking that SEC losing streak. But one thing, you still have a home losing SEC home SEC losing streak. As a guy that's been in the program for a while, you know, how badly do you guys want to, you know, win at home and break that? Uh, well, you know, we really want to break that. As everybody here is working hard to try and break that, uh, we want to like break the curse that so caused that's been here for the past two, three years, and we just want to be our best on that. Russell? What have you seen out of the uh, Ole Miss offense that makes them so dangerous? Uh, they're explosive offense. Uh, I'm going to give credit to them. They're explosive. Uh, they're tempo, and, you know, they, they're very – they're good on run and pass, so they're a good offense. Curtis? And Jonathan, when you prepare for a mobile quarterback like Matt Corral over there at Ole Miss, compared to maybe a guy that's more of a, a pocket passer that doesn't move around so much, how does that change things for a guy like you? Uh, for a guy like me, that changes like basically we like you know you still try to get pressure and uh, you just try to keep him in the pocket more instead of like letting him scramble. So if you know, for me, it's just like try to force them out to our edge rushers. All right, let me know if you got more in the chat. Nikki? Um, you guys, you know, you, you lost Dorian early for we don't know how long. Um, Julius Coates missed a game. Um, I think Mateo Soli is a little banged up. Just Just talk about your defensive line and how you guys have continually overcome these little hiccups. Uh, I mean, everyone, you know, like we said during camp, everyone on the D-line is fighting for position. I mean, we're all very talented on the D-line. And just, like, giving cre credit to, like, Zach when that happened, like, he stood up and took – he stood up in that role and, like, played a big factor and doing well right now. So, like, all of them are – everybody's competing. So, there's, there's no drop-offs on the defensive line. Bob? Hey, hey, Jonathan, assuming you guys watched tape of last year's game against Ole Miss, you know, um, how, how's Matt Corral look different to you a year later? Uh, I mean, he's he's still an athletic guy. I mean, uh, uh, but I don't feel like much has really changed about him since last year. I mean, I feel like, you know, that he's, he's that type of quarterback that's a dual threat that can run and he can run and he can throw the ball well, so. I mean, I don't think much has changed there. Curtis? Hey, Jonathan, Auburn had a little bit of more success running the ball against you guys than maybe the first couple opponents that you faced. Looks like Ole Miss has a couple of pretty talented backs. What have been some things you guys are emphasizing in practice to kind of get back to shutting down that run game a little bit? Tackling. Uh, we're honestly been working on tackling like that's that was our factor that, that that why that game was like that if we were to tackle it was you know a different game Bob hey uh Jonathan what watching um Ole Miss I mean they've scored 35 I guess for the first time ever in three straight SEC games they've never done it in four I'm sure you guys want to keep them under 35 but I mean they scored 40 something on Alabama what was it like watching that Alabama tape and going like, I can't believe these guys are doing this to Alabama. And do you think you guys can be the team to, to slow them down a little bit? Um, like I said before, they're explosive offense. Uh, they're a tempo team. And I feel when we get set, we uh, will be, if, when we get set against them, it will, it will be a different story right there. So you know, we'll try to stop them the best we can. Nikki. 
Jonathan, I'm not sure how much you get to watch what's going on behind you, but Hudson Clark and the way he stepped up these past two weeks, just and just talk about that. Uh, Hudson Clark, uh, he's a – you don't really – me and him are just alike, to be honest. They don't really talk much, but uh, when it comes, like, to, like, working and trying to be the best you can, he's all about it. And he stepped up to the plate big time, and he's playing very well, like – like it wasn't no drop off between him and Buster Monterey Brown. Like he's playing really good ball. Russell, as a captain on this team, how do you help other guys kind of flush what happened at the end of the game last week and prepare and focus on Ole Miss this week? Honestly, just not. It's like it's like blacking out the noise. Just don't talk about it. Uh, don't even like you know try not to get on social media and look at it because it's going to be up there. But uh, uh, is we just blocking that out, not even talking about it this week, this week, just focusing on Ole Miss. Last one, Bob. Okay. Now, I guess I got this big bar and I can't get my cursor to it. You know? But, uh, hey, going back to the Georgia game, I know obviously the crowd wasn't what it normally could be, but what do you remember about that atmosphere and what do you think, you know, even a reduced crowd, how big a difference can, can a home game, how big, a, is there still a home field advantage, you know? I mean, it's uh, our fans. So, like, the fans that's in there, they get pretty loud. Like, against Georgia, it got pretty loud in there. Louder than I expected a lot of times, you know. But uh, I feel like it'll be good playing back in Donald W. Reynolds Stadium. So, so, so the, the, the fans could be a, a positive factor for you. Yes. Yes, it can. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Jay Marshall.